physical space, but the whole aspect of where you access information, with what device you access information, is literally gone. Right? So we're seeing a lot of these organizations doing that. Cloud, we strongly believe it's no more a hype, it's a reality today. Yes, there are various stages of it, whether you're in private, you're in hybrid, whether you're in public. I think in this part of the world, it's predominantly more of the private and the hybrid scenario. The public clouds are still beginning to take off, but it's a reality today. Organizations are implementing this in some form or the other. Uh, physical servers has become a commodity, and I'll show you some statistics about how this is radically changing the way the overall enterprise strategy for IT is going to be in installed. Where we come in, the campus land, uh, something which has always been a stepchild to a lot of the organizations, something which has been thrown into a, uh, a rag or something which has been pushed into a corner, how that is evolving today. Because end of the day, that can also be a single point of failure in your technology strategy. Last but not the least, data consumption has skyrocketed. Uh, I always draw this analogy about my job a couple of years back with a networking company where putting a couple of cables, routers and switches together was networking, not anymore. Right? I mean, there's so much of technology challenges and changes that's happening in the industry by which today the networks also have to keep up to this whole thing. And last but not the least, something which we've been talking about for quite some time, it's all about the fabric, uh, it's, a, it's a concept, it is a philosophy, but today it's product and technology that's available in the market and the industry is adopting uh, this very aggressively. If, if I were to look at it from some of the trends in Asia, and again, I don't need to highlight this, I'm sure with your interactions and your experience in the industry, you're seeing all these things, Asia is going to be a half a trillion dollar market this year. Right, that's the kind of mega growth that's happening. The overall IT spending in the industry goes at about 3.8 to 4 percent. Here it's double that. Very clearly, yes, funds is not abundant, but you still don't have huge fund challenges like in most parts of the world. Mobile and cloud, every CIO that we talk to, this is part of their strategy. It's very rare, I would say it's nobody in my experience in this organization, have I come across a CIO who's turned around and said, you know, mobile or cloud is not part of my strategy. So very clearly that's happening. And 30%, and we did the survey, 30% of organizations are going to be adopting a full-fledged cloud strategy by the end of the year. So this is very clear, and this is not ours, this is a survey which has been done by a research organization, which very clearly shows that we are today cloud ready. So if you were to kind of take a business priority, and again, coming in from the various challenges at CIO in Asia fields, and again, you know, as I said, this is not radically different from a CIO in any other part of the world. It's about growing customers. I mean, that's where the money is, right? It's how do I reach out to new customers? How do I grow my existing customers? What is interesting is this is not coming from a CSO. It's not coming from a chief sales officer. It's not coming from a CEO as a chief executive officer even coming from a CIO, which boils to the fact that CIOs and IT organizations are no more seen as a pure support function. In fact, again, there was another research which was done by a research agency which came back and said 33% of the CIOs that they were uh, uh, surveyed feel that they are today part of the business strategy. You guys are interacting with a lot of the CIOs and I don't need to name them. Some of them who are front-ending leading banks, their businesses. By the way, they are a CIO. So, very clearly, we're reaching a phase where the technology department is just not a support function anymore. They've got to be leading and driving businesses and even helping grow the businesses. Leading to the other point, it's about enterprise growth. Uh, the other important part is the technical infrastructure because, you know, one of the key challenges the organizations have is because of evolving technologies, how do they keep up with your existing infrastructure? So the investments that you need to do, whether it's consolidation, whether it's taking new application, whether it's looking at new devices, that needs to be constantly updated and upgraded, and that keeps them on their feet, literally. Uh, expanding into new markets and geographies, I think that's a critical or a differentiation component in this part of the world, because again, you have the tier one, tier two, tier three kind of cities, you have consumers in every part of the world, how do you reach out to that consumer? You cannot say anymore that hey, tier one and tier two are my own customers because if you're looking from a consumption pattern, if you're looking about uh, 
monetary pattern today even at a tier 2 and a tier 3 city there are people who are buying well so you as a bank you as a retail organization you as a media and entertainment company really need to take into account literally all aspects of the market so how do you get into that segment so while we're looking at all these things what we've strongly seen are four components which is going to literally try or making those changes one is mobility so as i said it's about access to information independent of your device, independent of where you are. Virtualization, today we're reaching a phase where it's no more just a pure statistics number, it's skyrocketing and I'll talk about it in detail. Cloud computing, as I said, it's no more a, a hype, it is a reality. A lot of organizations are implementing this. It's all there in some form or the other. Uh, and then video, and I'll share some statistics with you folks, which even we, to be honest, we're also surprised, but that's the momentum that we've seen in the way things are going to happen. 